Hi guys, welcome back. Where, what's happening? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Sheclectic. This is my trying to transform a swimsuit into a two-piece. I saw it and then bought it a week later. People don't tend to pick up swimsuits at thrift shops, which is fair because it can be kind of gross. <laughs> I grew up thrifting and so I don't really mind. I don't know, you wash it and then you're pretty much fine. This is really good framing. I'm trying out a new lens right now and the autofocus is not helping whatsoever. Ugh. So I just want to cut it across the middle and then see how much it stretches up and stretches down. But I think it's gonna be really cool. I just bought a bunch of thread at Joann's and I have some elastic and if it goes well, I'll probably post it and if it doesn't, I'll probably delete this footage, so. So I heard ballpoint needles are good for swimming, but when I asked the ladies at Joann's, they said I should probably just use these stretchy needles. Um, I guess if it sucks, then I'll know to do the next thing next time, but that's what I'm going with. And then just this Ecoflex thread also from Joann. I think I'm going to err on the side of a taller swimsuit bottom because that's, I don't know, that's just what I'm choosing to do, so but I think I'm gonna try and just cut straight down the middle here. And I'm just making sure the seams are even. This swimsuit literally cost $5 and I'm still scared. I hope this swimsuit doesn't like get see-through when you wear it and it gets wet because just based on the fact that it's white, either way, just I guess I have to deal with it, but not bad, not bad at all. So now I just have to even out the seams and uh, sew it, but genuinely like cute, right? Hello? Awooga. What the hell is this? Mm, that white balance though. Alright. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've been looking for this sketchbook forever. Of course it's in here. I also started making a bralette a while ago, and this is as far as I got. It's super old time. Perfect. And I have a white and a black Ecoflex. I think I'm just gonna go for white. I thought I might want to use black, but I'm gonna use white, so. I already have thread a bobbin with stretchy thread too, I just have to find it. Where are my bobbins? Oh, here it is. This is my stretchy thread bobbin. It seems like, I don't think there's a thread in, like an elastic in there. I think this is just a, I think it's just a stretchy fabric, like for real. I thought you were supposed to zigzag. Oh, you're s okay. How about I watch a tutorial and then I will uh, think about what I'm confused about. Oh, she's adorable. First, I'm going to take out the pads. Was that she wouldn't be able to put it in. So what I'm going to do is what it looks like from here. Is you just follow the line. Okay, she hasn't talked about the thread she's using, but it's she's not zigzagging. She's sewing straight, so. I guess that's an option I didn't know about. Oh, I forgot to change my thread. Now that the thread has changed to blue, now we can sew the bottom. I'm going to sew it right here at the end, right here. I don't know so if she's using stretchy thread, thread or not, or what needle off. she's using. Inside, I'll hide it. Oh, but that's okay. All right, Sarah, tell me what thread you used. She didn't. She never told me what thread she used. Okay, let's try. Oh, here's Anna Vic Annika Victoria. Let's try her. She's really cool. You guys, if you watch so many videos, I am not the first person to tell you about Annika Victoria. So I don't know why I'm trying to verify her to you. Duh, she's got 
And to us, they found this stripy bodysuit at the thrift store. Hell yeah, sure. Well, the bodysuit fits me pretty well around my bust, and it is my size on the size tag. <laughs> it is far too long for me. Your girl has a short torso. So I have a long torso. Really, really bad. Anyway, although it's a bodysuit and it has snaps on the gusset, is she the cutest of all time? Maybe. Was made of needle. So, ballpoint needles are the ones- See, she used a ballpoint needle. Why did- uh, I should have just gone with my gut and got the ballpoint needle instead of the stretch needle. Mmm. Damn it. Do you want to use when sewing any basting stitch is a long- Okay, okay, no. She just said, for sewing stretch- I think that- yeah, yeah, I think a stretch needle is fine. She just said don't use a traditional needle, but I, I imagine that they're very similar. I think we'll be fine. Uh, like, come on. I think we're fine. Usually temporary. Once I decide to do something, I don't want to wait to do it, so that's why I'm just gonna go with the sewing stretch needle and see how it goes. Straight stitch to get it out. And then- And she's- okay, so she's using an overlocker, which is, I believe, surging, and obviously a zigzag to, um, a zigzag, you know, to make sure that it really stays st still, which you always- if you don't have a serger like I don't, you always zigzag to make sure the fabric doesn't fray. So obviously I will still do that. I just, I just, I came into this thinking that you were supposed to zigzag all stretchy fabric, but I guess I was wrong. I cut the rest of the excess fabric. Ooh, I'm really glad I don't have to resize the legs because I don't know how to, it'd be hard to hem when you're hemming a smaller part into like a larger part and you're trying to roll it like it you just end up with wrinkles she just told me you can't use straight stitches on stretch but why did you sew the bottom straight babe why annika i don't understand she needs to go into sewing stretchy fabrics like this so mm. this is what i did first i replaced my sewing damn it i also could have picked up a twin stretchy needle how she needle with a twin stretch needle Twin needles look like this, and they can be useful for sewing stretch fabric. When set to a regular, straight stitch setting, they sew two neat lines like this oh on the right gosh. side of your fabric. I need to buy one of those. And they do a zigzag on the back of the Stop fabric. Stop it, what? A few moments later. Okay, 12 pages later, you, a regular straight stitch can be used for stretching, for sewing stretch fabrics if you use stretchy EcoFlex thread. Hey! Yay! This is gonna look better. Yay! Oh, they're good for top stitching, not for making seams. Can someone just make me, can someone just explain everything to me really slowly, please? Thanks. Ugh. You know what? I'm not gonna hem it right now. I'm just gonna do a zigzag. I'm just gonna sew it like this is what I'm trying to say. And I might just pick up maybe a twin needle because also something Annika said was the twin needle does a zigzag at the bottom, which I, is fantastic. And it looks like my sewing machine does indeed support a twin needle, so. All right, well, I don't think this turned out super great. Um, which is why it's a good thing that I probably started with sewing on the edge. It does seem like like the needle did a good job at not damaging the fabric too much. And I tried the three stitch zigzag and then length three width four and tension four. Um, yeah, it just kind of puckers a little bit. It's probably fine for this to be like the inside just, you know, the inside just preventing the fabric from fraying stitch. But I think I will rest this project until tomorrow and um, pick up a twin needle because definitely that's what they used on this swimsuit in the beginning. Kind of a surge but zig you know, zigzaggy at the back and the twin needle top stitch. So um, as much as I just want to finish this project tonight, I'd rather do it right than do it wrong and end up hating it. Because I think this is already going to be a really cute swimsuit and I just want it to look good, so. 
Um, see you tomorrow, and hopefully I'll have much better lighting to then. One day later. So, I bought the twin needle and just threaded it the best way I knew how. I'm still testing out the tension. It's kind of weird. The back pulls it together, creating this weird row that obviously sh doesn't look good. Yeah, I see that. So it's um, it's not just a zigzag stitch. It kind of pulls the rows together in a in a not cute way. Yeah, this is not ideal, but I'll keep testing it out. I don't understand why it keeps bunching up, but the twin needle, you know, it looks good if it didn't fucking fold the fabric like that. Broke needle. Alright, well, I'm actually not mad about the zigzag stitch. Um, I don't know if I included the part where I swore a lot, but my twin needle busted. I was just trying to get the tension right so the fabric wasn't tunneling and then I f broke my needle. So, because I'm not delaying this project another day, I decided to just do the zigzag stitch. And it's really not bad. I adjusted tension several times. First I had it at pretty high tension, and then now I put it back to four, which is what I usually sew at for non-stretchy fabrics, and it, it works quite well. I don't think it ruins the appearance. Obviously this is not the final stitch because the raw hem is right here, and then I just stitched it there. Um, I will tuck it in and then sew it that way. But... You know, just for the sake of finishing the project and it genuinely not looking bad, I might just, I might just, uh, I might just finish it up with a zigzag. So, I have tucked and pinned, not pinned, I have tucked and clipped this hem. It is rolled twice so that the raw hem is extra inside. I already did a zigzag just to um, keep the lining together and such. But I think I'm just gonna, I don't know, do I wanna? I really wanna finish it with the double hat. <laughs> I almost bought two twin needles today too because I thought this might happen and who the F decided not to do it and to buy more Sharpies? <sighs> I am so Hi, I'm back, and I'm in a much better mood than I was last night. That tends to happen. I finished off this hem. It honestly does not look bad with the zigzag stitch, so I'm just going to proceed with doing the zigzag here. Let's stop trying to be annoying with accents. Um, so I'm just going to fold this in twice, uh, and sew it, and then do the final reveal. I'm super excited. I think this is like the cutest ever. And easier than I thought it would be, minus the stupid ass needle that broke. That was six dollars. Change of plans. I only rolled it once because rolling it twice was making it shorter than I wanted it to be. So, and also it was like uneven. The cut was uneven. And so, anyway, uh, just gonna roll it once and sew it and then model it.
And just FYI, this bag is thrifted and this hat is thrifted, so full body thrifted. I'm not wearing shoes, but my shoes would probably be thrifted as well, so. You're looking at the thrift queen. Welcome. You're welcome. You are welcome. Mm. Thanks again for watching. You have already seen the finished results, and I'm still wearing the finished results. Um, thanks for being here. Stop saying the exact same things over and over again. I work full time, so I just do YouTube as a fun side hobby, and if it happened to pay my rent ever, even for one month, that would be really cool. But mostly I'm just doing it for the love of thrifting and putting it together in a beautiful video. And just like as a as something to look back on for myself of like dude you did make that queen like so if you came here and if you stumbled across my video and if you like me feel free to subscribe or like um cool bye